this illustration reminds me of slice of life anime genre where the main lead is contemplating life while watching a beautiful sunset by sea we are starting off with screen resolution of 2080 into 2860 and we are moving straight to our sky we are not going to do any smudging here but rather using a fill bucket option using the linear bucket to fill two different color here and we are going from the little darker shade of blue to a hue of uh, uh, orangish tone here making it resemble like a sunset once we are done we are moving straight forward to a distance mountain and i'm picking a darker shade here with the help of fountain pen i'm just going to draw a line with the help of line option and then with the help of freehand i'm just going to give a scribble around to make it look like a mountain and i'm using fill bucket to fill it and we are done with this layer we are moving forward to the cloud layer this is one of the easiest cloud app sketch so far all we are doing is using a fountain pen with the help of freestyle we are just going to draw in a cursive way to make it look like a map in the sky and fill the layer and then i'm going to add a new layer above the existing layer and i'm doing the exact same thing but using a different color to fill once we are done we are going to use wash brush to slowly smudge at the edge not in the inside and we got the exact like of a fluffy cloud and also this beautiful sunset cloud which we are always looking forward to one thing i do is definitely uh, somebody in instagram reached out to me how they enjoy watching cloud and gaze at uh, all this uh, celestial object and i think one of the heaviest time we spend is contemplating our life is during sunset looking at this beautiful cloud and beautiful sunset uh, skies once we are done blending it we are going to merge both the layer of the cloud and then we are moving straight forward to the sea layer for the sea layer we are just going to copy and paste the sky layer we are not doing much but rather inverting only the blue part of the sky and erasing the rest and we are done with our sea layer i'm so happy how this is looking so far and then we are going to do the exact same with the cloud layer copy paste invert and then reduce the opacity of it and also i'm just going to use flow airbrush to add the shadow of the mountain as well and once we are done we are almost halfway through our illustration and we are coming to the interesting bit and we are just going to use the help of we are going to use glow neon pen to add the sun at a distance and also make sure to check the layer on the right side because we have multiple layer this layer is beneath the mountain layer because we want to make it look like the sun is setting between the mountain and i'm just going to use the same brush to add those reflection and with the help of flow airbrush i'm going to add a hint of orange here and then we are going to use hair brush to slowly smudge with the edges it is basically pulling the color out from inside to outside and doing the exact same in the middle you can actually do by using the fountain pen but i feel like this is much of like a realism here of course this entire illustration i want to make it look as anime as i can but i'm so happy at the final how this has beautifully turned into a slice of life anime if you're a fan of slice of life genre comment down below which is your favorite of those movies or anime if you have you watched so far we are using the same brush to smudge the rest of the sea here. I'm going to slowly smudge the fluffy cloud and also the edge of the mountain also to make it look like a sea in a flowing movement. And we are almost done with the sea layer. There will be few more additional uh, elements to add but as of now we'll be moving straight into the grass layer. For the grass layer we are going to use exactly fountain pen to add those outline and I'm just going to pick little of a darker shade of green and with the help of freehand i'm just going to draw a mountain of grass fill the layer and then i'm going to use dry ink brush to add those uh, grass at a distance and also a few of the um, we are almost done with the grass layer and we are going to add to 
pool here and then we are going to continue adding the shadow in the sea by adding few of a strike of color there to make it look like a shadow evening of a sunset sea here and then we are just going to use blunt brush to slowly blend it across and then we are going to use our glue pen to add those lines like a distance building at a distance and then we are going to add few more uh, highlight here in the sea by adding few more dots along the way of the shiny sunset view and now we are into the main and interesting part i'm using the same drawing to add the girl standing here observing the sunset and also planning the best decision of her life and then we are going to go freehand here and i'm starting off with hair to make it look like a flowy one here and then i'm just going to draw a very simple basic top for her and then we are going to add a skirt in a grayish color and once done we will use the black color to add the outline for the garment to make it as popped as we can and then we are going to add a lighter shade of gray and a darker shade of gray and then we are going to use blend brush to slowly blend it to make it look like a skirt flowing also you can add little more effect here but i don't want to make it difficult so we are just going to keep it as simple as we can so once we are done blending we are just going to use the help of drying to add the arms and feet for the girl and this is going to be very simple because i'm going to use the same like i said a drying to add those outline or make it look like a pop of dress at a distance a girl is wearing and then we are done by using our drying brush and then we are going to add grass at her feet to make it look like she's standing in a grass at a distance absorbing this beautiful sunset we are almost at the end of illustration we are going to add few more seagull and then we are done hope you have enjoyed this illustration if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by please make sure to subscribe because our channel has a free newsletter from my inbox to yours on every saturday and also we do have our podcast every sunday where we talk about the art of life how can we become the best by doing what we can in a better and more strategic ways and then we are almost done with our beautiful seagull and we are moving at the end of our illustration and for my existing subscriber thank you very much and see you all around till then have a great life enjoy yourself life is too short to regret so do what your heart asks to see you all bye bye